Hey, you can meet the featured local artist at Wintergreen Gallery and Gifts. TV6's Michael Sobeck joins us live from the Marquette Art Gallery to find out how you can join today's artist reception. This is a really, really neat artist with some incredible work. Uh, definitely want to check it out. How can we do that, Michael? Absolutely. Well, you can check that out because it's, well, today. So for those of you who are going to be out and about, can check out all of Ron's lovely work, and that's at 5 o'clock today, right here it's from 5 to 8. And I heard there's going to be cookies, so that might be a big one to come by. <laughs> now, something that's important is i got to ask you, Ron, you know, for the people that are going to come and visit you know, and check, you're out, check out your work and meet you, what's something you're excited to show them? Uh, just the, uh, I would guess the thinking out of the box maybe a little bit and uh, using something that might not normally be uh, used in a craft or artistic type uh, setting to be able to create something. You definitely blur the line between crafter and artist because, it, you know, wool is typically seen more as a craft material and you right. definitely make it an art material. Right. It's, it's wonderful because it's very organic. Uh, the sheep is not hurt. Uh, the fleece is taken off. Uh, there's, very, there's no industry involved with it, uh, no chemical processing really, but uh, depending on the dyeing process that some folks would use. But uh, So very organic and I, I just think that's uh, such a wonderful thing. Absolutely. Now we talked about this kind of during the break, but uh, and, and I know this is not an easy question, but what's your favorite piece that you have displaying here today? Uh, <laughs> I did the one scene that uh, a little lake in uh, called Farmer's Lake, down in Little Lake where I lived uh, before moving to town. And uh, that one's got some heart in it to me. Uh, and it kind of turned out better than a lot of stuff that I might be doing. So it surprised me. And uh, that's always fun when a, a piece that you're trying to work on actually surprises you that, yes, I can, I can see that. It what I wanted to, what I saw and what I wanted to uh, portray to other people. Yeah. So uh, that's a key one. Now uh, I love your noir styled work you have. It feels very f fantastical, I guess is the word you could use, very fantasy based. What was the inspiration for that? Uh, basically I do love noir type things, the, the moody uh, settings uh, with possibly uh, not a lot of color to them, but a lot of different shading. It might be almost all black and white, but it uh, and grays, of course. But uh, I, I just love that uh, that look. So that's what I've tried to create in a couple of the pieces. Uh, well, I think you've done a made. fantastic job with it. It has so much depth, and I think people are going to absolutely love all of your. I love it. I'm going to have to swing by today. <laughs> Now, I'll make sure to link all of Ron's information on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com, as well as the times you guys can show up to meet him. That will be on our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. It's back to you, ladies in the studio. All right. Thanks, Michael. Your top stories are on the way. We'll be right back.